the Hollywood Best 2023 Costa Rica Cup moves to Guamashu's Princess Makoko Stadium, where Group C's Angola take on Mauritius, and both will be looking for their first win of this year's tournament. A good day it is to you on what is a rather cold day in uh, Durban. William Shaw is sitting alongside me. Well, the conditions, once again, are a huge talking point as we look forward to the first game. Well, Angola have had the uh, better go of it. In uh, this year's tournament, we've had a reminder of the uh, beautiful game and the surprises that come with it. As the chance falls here for Mauritius, and the surprise I was about to speak about unfolds against the run of play. Mauritius get the chance and bury it. It's happened on a good few occasions already in this year's Kosafa Cup, and it's no different in this match with the goal against Mauritius. That must be very Francois. And the defender under a little bit of pressure fails to clear, and then it falls perfectly. That's why the advice to defenders is that when you're going to make a tackle that you notice off, don't go down, try to stand as much. But he was off balance. Wow, well, there's a chance. Great chance then for the Angolans. Part of the mark then, but more likely as they get their big man forward, Penafra, amongst those looking to uh, take charge. I think we can say quite confidently, and that's that there should be more goals in this match. Now, nice little drop on the shoulder to create the angle. Keeper was positioned well then to come up with the goods in the save. As, as soon as he cut into the inside, he was thinking one way, and there wasn't enough uh, cover from the Mauritian uh, defense. One has to credit the Angolans with the fact that they have been able to maintain the same tempo right throughout this first half and intensity. Here they are pushing forward, hoping to get that opportunity. In the end, the uh, connection. Oh, he threw the ball like turning away from goal and not ready. Going to be accurate enough to find an all important equalizer for the Angolans. Half running on the far side now. Can Angola find that equalizer just before the half time break? Hey, the defending, hey. nothing wrong with the defending. It got physical in there. Uh, so in the end, is it well for Mauritius? Brave from Jean Louis between the sticks. Now, pull over the top here, it's an interesting one here. Good running! And the save, I believe, from Jean Lewis to uh, deny Ben Opera what looked good for goal number two for him in this tournament. It was a lovely pull over the top. The movements of the ball was absolutely top notch. It's a great chance and always looking to create width. Now, header. And the follow up header will be wide of the mark. There was a man coming in on the blind side. Bit better communication. And if you'd allowed that to run on, the man on the blind side may have been onto something. But again, it's the new man on the uh, field here in the second half, Jeremiah, that's uh, involved. Now, pull in here. And wow, Mauritius with a chance to get goal number two. And uh, well, mentioned that the tempo had come down a bit from the Angolans, and suddenly it's Mauritius. Now that pop up with a good chance to grab goal number two. Now, Mauritius will be making a change of their own here. Ashley Nazira comes on, and uh, it's uh, Yannick Astride that uh, makes way. Now, chance, real chance, right on the goal line, and somehow he's managed to hold on to it. As uh, Jean Louis at some expense, I believe he was injured in the coming together there, but there was real pressure. Ball in. Could be a chance here. Oh, there is a chance. A glorious opportunity. Taking a deflection and gone out for the corner. Does that sum up the day for Angola? Huge results in a group C sees Mauritius getting the better of Angola, walking away one no winners.